what might a Mars colony look like? What about a space mission to Venus? Major technical challenges being solved here on Earth, and for the first time in Israel. This is NASA's Space Apps Hackathon, a simultaneous event all around the world where skilled specialists try to figure out what the next era of space exploration might look like. Venus uh, got uh, very extreme conditions. Uh, it got uh, uh, temperatures of uh, 460 degrees Celsius, a very acid uh, atmosphere, uh, high pressure, and it's very it's digesting almost every mechanical or electronics uh, equipment that is uh, sent from Earth. What we did is try to find a solution for uh, equipping a Mars habitat using only 3D printers and 3D printed items. The Space Apps event focuses on high tech, areas Israel's economy is famous for. On top of the engineering, there are attempts to make current generation space tech more accessible to the general public. For instance, tracking the International Space Station. Here you can see the space station where it is, uh, where its live location is at. Uh, you can see some NASA's ground stations and the color red means that uh, they cannot see, they cannot observe the, the ISS at the moment. Or using artificial intelligence to compile data on faraway planets and then paint vivid pictures of what they might look like. The purpose of the project is to visualize exoplanets. Exoplanets are um, planets that are outside of our, uh, our solar system. They are usually really, really far away, so we have our time to um, take images of them. The competition was brought to Israel by tech firm Monkey Tech. The idea was to take the exact sort of programming teams the company usually builds for industry and turn them towards the next major challenges to humanity. This is what we do. We believe in forming creative teams for our clients, which are usually in the tech industry, big companies and entrepreneurs, but it's always about making things happen in teamwork and with creativity and with, with collaboration and working together towards a shared and joint goal. And the event is drawing a new generation of investment from people who see a huge future market. Today we're looking for the next Israeli startup in the new space field. We believe that by 2030 we will have hundreds of start startups in this field, uh, but today we we hope to find a selected group of talented people and to give them an investment opportunity of up to $100,000. And ultimately, it puts Israel on the map, a small nation that has high ambitions, now producing the minds that will make space much closer.